Mark speaks to us <coughs> about this mustard seed from his gospel in the fourth chapter. And I was wondering, should I begin this short talk with that old chorus? Faith is small as a mustard seed can grow, move mountains, move mountains. But then, and, and this is for those who are as old as me, it really sounded like the Double Diamond Works Wonders song advert. And I thought, no, that doesn't, that doesn't work. But then I thought, well, what is Mark trying to show me? What is he trying to show you? And what I believe in this small passage about a seed planted and through time, its development and growth will become this great shrub in which birds will nest in, shade will be given, animals will take shelter. And I thought, what is that about? What is that saying? Because so often, not just with songs about God, but with scriptures about God, we, I think we miss the point of what's being, being said to us, what's being shared with us by these guys who wrote these Gospels, who lived through this time with him. So I thought about this for some while uh, after Ben asked us who wanted to do this, and I said I would. And it struck me that this is about the Word of God the power of God, the presence of the kingdom in our personal lives. That once it takes root, there is a transformation. You can't stop it. You can't put a tree unless you seed in and, and plant it and not let it grow unless you cut it down or you do something like put it in the shade where it doesn't get the nutrients. And I think that goes for us. But all sorts of things affect that growth, all sorts of things affect its development, its speed, its its way in which it will, you know, project itself. And I was wondering, as I sit in this fantastic environment of countryside where we now live in Dali, all these trees surround me, the noise that they make at night, and uh, the animals that live within them, it's, it's an amazing picture, it's an amazing scene as I sit here looking at it, it's, it's incredible. But it's needed the elements that have helped it develop. And sometimes that's okay, that works, and sometimes it doesn't. Nature can sometimes break branches off, which we often get here, you just hear the things fall into the floor as something snaps. Or it, it's a shrub that's overshadowed by something bigger than itself, and it doesn't get the light and it doesn't grow. And aren't we the same? And nature is such a reminder, it says in scripture, you know, have they not seen, have they not heard? And, and Isaiah points to that, that, and Paul equally, that nature shows us this principle, this parable Jesus talks about and Mark records in his gospel, that it can become this. But oh, how we struggle with that growth, don't we, people? And I'm speaking from my personal perspective here, not trying to project onto you and say, oh, how are you doing? I'm telling you about the things that when life's great, Oh, God's the most amazing thing ever. And I can see or feel this growth, but then things don't go as I thought. And suddenly I'm like, where's God? What's happening here? I don't understand. I thought this. And this, as an evangelist, is a, this sort of speaks to the heart of who I am. Because we try to tell people that if we receive this seed, this spirit of God was in us, it will grow. It says, it, that I will make my home within you. Jesus says in his words and as recorded by the gospel writers and but there's times when it doesn't feel like it's took root there isn't there's times when it doesn't feel like anything's happening or if anything something's stopped or broken or deformed and it's just not working and that led me to a line and then it's a line you may well have thought of or not been able to formulate it in this sentence but is God only good when life's good and I feel that growth and I feel that grace and I feel that gift of his spirit excelling and propelling me and developing me. But then suddenly it's gone and there's a void in the space. And we wonder, don't we? I do. And I'm reminded by Nadia Bowles Weber who said, I'd, I really want to get to that point where I don't see God's hand at work in my life in retrospect. I want to see it in the present. And, and that's something I want to work towards and I hope you equally do. But this little parable from chapter 4 of Mark 
shows that the power of this seed, the Spirit of God, the possibilities and the endless, endless, unlimited love and grace of God are there if we allow it to be watered, we allow it the light, if we allow it to work through the seasons and to see that it isn't always how we think or when we think or what we think, which is my fault because I try and control everything. It's, it's down to him. He is the creator. He is the one who put all this into action, in play, spoke it into life. So today I pray, let him speak life into you through this parable. And let him also show you that through this parable you can speak out a truth to those who are in the dark, the last, the lost and least, who don't know this truth. And who are struggling and who might be just surviving, not living. So this message really today is about seeing God is good. And returning back to that chorus which I started this with, that with this little seed there is unlimited amounts of of experience we can have and reality we can know because this is a God who makes things and speaks into things life and so today let him speak life and love into you God bless